owners do not have to go through any rigorous oversight process. And they fought for the right to be unregulated, to be unsupervised. And we do not know just how deep or how wide the scam of the scheme is. The nightmare in Alsop Burr Oak Cemetery is a major crime scene. Reverend Jesse Jackson is extremely upset. Four people have been charged with a class X felony dismemberment of a human being. Carol and Towns, Terrence Nix, Keith Nix, Maurice Daly were allegedly exhuming and displacing bodies to resell plots in a scheme to get paid over and over and over again for the same Lots. Joining us is a member, is a family member, Angela Norwood. Thanks for joining us. Call me now, 630-575-TALK. Angela, be before I go to phones, how would you explain this, you know, with the least amount of words? Tell me what you're feeling at this point. Hmm. Pure, unadulterated rage. Mm. I would love to return the favor to these individuals yeah. I think that's the best way I can put it, just pure rage. Yeah, yeah, and, I, and I'm sure that your feelings are definitely mirrored by so many others. Let me go to phones, Angela. I'm going to go to Cindy. Cindy, thanks for calling Gerard McClendon Live. What's your comment, Cindy? Hi, Cindy, what's your comment? My, my comment is to relive the hurt and to, to, to be under the pressure of a dogmatic thinking people to have my children see me relive, mm. my, my family, my relatives, my mother, when I went to her grave site to see the ground unleveled, and there's a ditch there, someone else is there, oh. where, my, where my sister and my uncle, my god uncle, my cousin is buried, it's like a construction site, they would not allow us to go back there, oh. to, to, to be put under this kind of pressure, to go back through the traumatic experience but my children never met their grandmother but they know her legacy right. when I walked upon Jesse Jackson and I brought to his attention who I was who my mother was I said these are her grandchildren he was delighted to take a picture with them but that does not cut it there it's beyond these four people yes. to me they're they're the um the 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 Olive for Norths, you yes. know what I mean yes. but, but for her to seek mental health at this point you should have thought men sought mental health Treatment when when it came to you from Mr. Preston, I would yeah. put it out there, and, wow. and, and whoever else. Wow. This this goes beyond just the four people up front. That's right, hey, Cindy. And, and I've been privy to certain information, but that person that that, that set the whole thing off, mm -hmm. he didn't get what he was paid. And how come he gets immunity from all hey, of this? Hey, Cindy, thanks for the call. We appreciate you. It's like the truth is is about to come out. Let me go straight to Florence. Florence, thanks for calling GML. What's your comment, Florence? Hi, Hi. Um, I'm just calling, uh, commenting uh, to the Burr Oak situation. Yes. Um, I just... Go ahead, Florence. It looks like I lost Florence. Let me, let me go to Charles. Charles, thanks for calling GML. What's your comment, Charles? Yes, sir. Uh, believe me, man, before the incident happened, on April the 1st, my cousin got um, a murder, and I had talked to one of them persons in there to sell me a plot. Mm -hmm. And then the lady who uh, was uh, so many applied was uh, uh, Andrea uh, Governor, okay. and and she had hesitated try to sell me a plot in that little area yeah. where my cousin had got buried around my the, the second week of uh, April, and it was so sad the way I had seen all the the, the tragedy that happened towards the, the people's plot. Yeah, and then and 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 as far as uh, the the dirt. And then the people was explaining about how much dirt was coming on the cars and stuff. Yeah. It was so sad, though. It's, it's really sad, Charles. Thanks for the call. I appreciate you. Let me get one more in. Angela, hold tight. Let me get Rosemary in. Rosemary, thanks for calling. Gerard McClendon Live. We're talking about Burr Oak Cemetery. What's your comment? Hello, Gerard. Hi. I just want to say that um, why are they being protected? Mm. They took people's families and destroyed their bodies. They can't even find my mother's remains. DNA testing might not be done. The state might not have funding. Why are we protecting them and they relocated to a, a place in the jail where they protected? They yeah. didn't protect our families. Mm. You know what, Rosemary? They are, they do deserve due process, but you have a very good point. Rosemary, thanks for the call. Angela, let me come back to you. Okay. Are, are you feeling some of the pain and anguish that my callers just expressed? 
One hundred percent. The fact of the matter is, I did not know my grandfather, and but my mother has told me about his legacy, what type of person he was. Um, my cousin passed away when I was a very small child, but I remember that clear as day. Um, his mother is no longer here, and if she was here, um, I don't. I wouldn't even want to be in the room with her when she would find out that something has happened to her son. Yeah. Um, talking with my mom and talking with other family members, yes, you relive everything. It's just like the death happening immediately. Absolutely. It is 100 percent. Hey. It's terrible. You know, Angela, hold tight. I'm going to read okay. some of the names of people who have called me over the weekend. Octavia, Sonetta, uh, Norma Bell Walker, May, Antonia, Laverne, Latrice, the list goes on and on. These are people that have loved ones in Burr Oak Cemetery. The story continues. Reselling plots in a cemetery. We talk to family members tonight as we try to release the pain and get some answers. Hit me on Facebook. You can hit me on Twitter, MySpace, and CLTV.com. Com slash GML. Call me at 630-575-TALK. Gerard McClendon Live returns. Two minutes.